Good start already. Last three jumps. But it's fine. We only nothing like losing the Inspire too. So we arrived in Belize, and right away they saw a big group of kids, camera gear, skydiving gear, and they're like, "You guys have drones. You guys are going to secondary." So they threw uh, all of our gear up on the counter. Stripped some of our drones. We still have some though. <laughs> and uh, the big Inspire is now going to be held at customs until we can figure out otherwise. So hopefully, we get that sorted. Heavy loss for the group actually because, um, yeah. Yeah, I feel bad for us. Yeah, that drone and his drone work, one of a kind. Look in the eyes, look in the eyes. Not around the eyes, look in the eyes. Are you ready? Come on now. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up the pay chain. Ready? Let just hand you these. Thank you very much. <laughs> and that's how we fake those uh, shots. <laughs> now we're gonna catch the little last little island plane to go to the place we're gonna stay. Yes. And then we're gonna get ready, try and prepare some of the stuff for the next few days, jumping into the blue hole and. Yeah, try a few drones taken away, but we can't let that yeah, get us taken down. We got a. Uh, I can't wait to look out the window, dude, and see all the blue outside. <laughs> I know, right? This place where we're going now is extremely beautiful, but it's a lot of ocean. It's like, yeah, mainly ocean, not so much like Beach. palm trees or stuff. But yeah. it's and gonna be. We're gonna be diving right into. It. Yeah, it's so crazy to be able to jump into the blue hole. I'm going on. Yeah, Alex. <laughs> I, I always love sitting in the back. How do you like being on this yeah, trip? Yeah. Tell us. It's pretty tight. <laughs> it's pretty tight, though. Like uh, skydiving. Yeah. Where's, where's the rig? You feel ready for uh, this adventure? What was ready? Always. San Pedro, it's looking beautiful. I'm ready to jump out of some planes. These things are so fun to whip around. Right. I came here when I was 16, and uh, I was driving around here with my friends, and like the cops would always stop us because they thought we were like 13. It's the best time. Yeah. Jumping off the end of docks. Three white taxis on the front. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. appreciate it. Todo. Como? Aquí en la isla se consigue todo lo que quiera. Last scene in LFBS, here oh, we yeah. come. <laughs> There's no way he wouldn't let you do it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go boys. This is easy though. Head, chin, chin down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh, that was sick. <laughs> oh, this is terrifying. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Scarier than skydiving, that's for sure.
up the landing area for our temporary drop zone on San Pedro Island in Belize. And we're we're getting there by golf carts because we're gangster. <laughs> and that's how you do it on this island. But I mean, if it's gangster, then everyone is a gangster. That's it, getting attacked by mosquitoes. Well, how is it to hang out with the boys? <laughs> it's such good vibes, no? Yeah, it's good vibes. Always a good time. This wasn't exactly what you expected before we left. No, no, I completely broke my uh, preconceived idea. I mean, like, as usual, no, like, every time you have preconceived idea, it's like, it's not the good move. Let's go around me. Yeah, Panama was a bit slim I'm, I'm honestly most excited about jumping in the blue hole. I've never jumped into water before, so it should be an insane experience. And just, just having it with all the boys, I mean, out of the plane, I just can't even imagine how that's gonna be. I'm very excited. I know. This takes forever! And because we're on island time, uh, they didn't take into consideration that it's getting dark. You know, we have been driving on these golf carts for one hour. We actually have. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. Like one hour for real. And uh, right now we're gonna do uh, another half an hour, and then we're gonna <laughs> check out the tar landing area. Shoot, you saw we've got the power lines here. They're probably eight, nine meters high that we have to clear. But the other thing is, there's crocodiles in the water here. So let's add that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. So you don't want to land. You don't want to land in the lagoon. And the other thing with the lagoon is this is reclaimed land. They've they've cut the mangroves. So you're gonna land in what you think is yeah, a nice okay. swimming pool water, water and you're gonna punji stick yourself up your ass with a with a mangrove root. Okay. Oh, but oh, the good God. thing is everyone has a GoPro. So where the 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 what's that? The team guy. The team guy. You'll you'll be the the I love skydiving up of the week on Facebook. So if you come up here tomorrow and you think, you know what, this is above my skill set, no one here is going to say, oh, you're a big pussy for not jumping. I will actually applaud you, and I think I speak for Bruno and the guys that have been around this sport forever. The guys, they come to a place like this and say, you know what, I'll wait till we jump in the blue hole. I got the whole Caribbean Sea. I think I can hit that and not get hurt. Don't jump here if you think this is above your abilities. Don't do it because all the other cool kids are doing it. Because if you hit the power lines here, it's going to hurt. And we had a guy who didn't follow the rules one year in our old landing area that's now overgrown with buildings. He didn't pay attention to anything, the, the, the pattern and everything, and he hit the power lines and just about died. Okay? So think about that tomorrow when we come up. Is that a good plan? Is everyone in agreement with this plan? Yeah. yeah. Guys, we also have to get started early in the morning because... That's what we can discuss with them. That's we can discuss that. As you can see, it's uh, pitch black. Can't see shit. We know it's crocodiles left and right. Uh, there's a power line back there, and uh, <laughs> and I don't know. Like, yeah, let's see uh, how it's gonna go tomorrow when we see it in daytime. But uh, for sure, it's gonna be a little bit nerve-wracking. What do you think, Alex? I think you should switch canopies. Yeah. <laughs> don't fight the AI. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, don't forget, kid. Don't, don't die. Yeah. <laughs> that was the main advice. Ready to go. You ready, bro? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm sick. I'm actually a little bit nervous, too, though. Me, too, you know, but that's good. Be bad if you weren't. We have a crosswind on an 80 foot wide mm -hmm. stretch of land that isn't even long in the yeah. first place with yeah. crocodiles on both sides <laughs> and power lines if you go. Yeah, as you can choose to get eaten or fried, you know, like <laughs> whatever you prefer, you got it all. I like the optimism of the group. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty gray. It's pretty windy. It's pretty, windy, pretty, it's pretty technical uh, landing too. Yeah. Going for it. Challenge. John Jay. Should be fun. <laughs> Are we guys ready to be Kuka the DZ or what? Yo, we're uh, we're here checking in. I'm live from Kuka the DZ. This is Zach Moxley. I got Ralph here. Yo, yo, what's up? We're what's all up? uh we're doing applications to Kuka the DZ today. <laughs> Alex and Yoke are first on the list to be 
ignited in the case of the DJ. <laughs> Actually, Alex hasn't been invited yet. I know, Alex. Uh, it's like, this it's on the walk, that's not gonna be easy. Ah, uh, but at the same time, like, so, it's important to so have the guy who's so actually shooting the cooks. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> who's that? Let's run it. Like, now I'm like, only 20% cook, but I'm working on it. What are you doing, bro? You're, you're not in the... <laughs> so, uh, that means black jeans and uh, black t-shirts and... All black. Normally, you're supposed to have the white shoes, but uh, I don't have the white shoes, so... I left my other shoes at the other hotel. <laughs> I'm stuck in this. And if you want to be Unless the I jump in flip flops. Yeah. That might be kind of sick. But if you want to be the cook of the DC, you gotta have this setup. We learned that now from those guys. And apparently, apparently we're cooks for being, uh, yeah, the so called modern day influencers, uh, skydivers. So we gotta live up to that reputation. Okay, give me some more of that. <laughs> That's hell, bro. That was next level. That was next level. That's a whole I... nother world. I was like, what? <laughs> On like different level, man. I did awesome. You know what? The only thing I was sad about the jump is I could not see your face. Oh my God. I was looking, because... you know your reaction? I was like, oh my, I was looking at your eyes and you were like, oh, oh, oh. And I was like, oh my God.